Hello, this is H.C. Bailey, and welcome to a special bonus episode of Let's Play Chrono Trigger! A couple people asked, H.C. Bailey, is it possible to defeat Lavos at the Ocean Palace? And what ending do you get if you do? So I thought I'd show the battle here, but with an added challenge. I swear to defeat Lavos in the regular new game, in instead of the new game plus. How will I do that, you ask? Well, first I took a save state that I had at the Keeper's Dome, because well, getting the epoch is one of my favorite scenes in the whole game there. <laughs> then I grinded away against Rubbles at Mount Woe to learn all of my techs. I didn't level grind, although I did gain quite a few levels along the way, but I didn't like specifically do that for level grinding. I made a reasonable, reasonably low level, I mean not super low level, but reasonably. But most importantly, I also did the Sunken Desert side quest already have access to it. By doing so, you open up Fiona's Shrine, where you can purchase the Almighty Vigil Hats, which will protect you from the chaos status ailment that Lavos can inflict upon you. Surprisingly, that's not the greatest challenge that Lavos poses to us, but I'll show you why very shortly. First things first, the reason we have Marley is because she can cast haste. We need haste in order to win this battle. I cannot stress that enough, viewers. It is just so critically important that you have haste, so that way you can get your attacks in fast enough. Not just so I can get this battle in under 11 minutes, which is also a challenge in and of itself. Then he inflicts chaos. Now, I won't do this every round, but I'm going to heal Marley so that she can get more haste spells up. Um, later on, eventually, I won't care. But for now, I just want to get haste going. Then once haste is on everyone, I really won't care about Marley. She's just going to be standing there for most of the rest of the battle. I might have her do some other things periodically, but really, that's all I care for her to do. There we go. Okay, Robo, Kirby, Marley, haste yourself. And now Chrono can start going on the offense. Basically, Chrono's going to be casting Confuse the entire battle. Yeah, I want Marley to haste herself instead of Chrono so that she can get another haste in before she gets inflicted with chaos again. Eh, I suppose I could have healed Marley, but I think she'll be okay. As long as you keep everyone over 700 HP, you should be fine. Oh, and also, I set the battle mode to wait because um, my reflexes are not so hot. I just want to show you that winning this battle in a regular new game is indeed possible. There we go, we got haste on everyone. Good job, Marley. Now you can be confused for the rest of the battle. See if I can. You know, I may want Chrono to heal Marley a little bit. Uh, yeah, I think so. I think so. Lavos might try to attack Marley. That would be bad. There we go. And I, don't worry about leaving Marley cast. She will never do anything of consequence to you guys. Almost never. There we go. Yeah, I mean, her attacks are minimal to you. Now, the guys, if, as long as they stay over 650 HP, they will be able to survive uh, destruction range from the heavens. So, I'm not worried about that at all. So now, basically, the strategy is just Chrono, Confuse, um... Robo goes heel beam, heel beam, cure beam, and Marley maybe get an ice spell in here or there. And now we're going to start fast forwarding because this gets a little repetitive here. Okay, another heel beam out of Robo. Yeah, we might as well use ice. I'm not going to use ice too simply because it uses more MP, and it really doesn't deal that much more damage than the first ice spell, so I'm not really worried about that. I wonder if Frog would have been useful here if I gave him all the magic tabs. I'm pretty sure Heal Beam is infinitely better, but still. Uh, what is it? Frog's Heal spell cures status ailments, so that might actually be useful. Huh. I just thought of that just now. I never even tested that at all, but eh, whatever. So anyway, the next thing that I'm worried about in this battle is Robo's MP. You want to keep an eye on that. Um, if it gets down to like 25, 24 MP, Marley's going to want to uh, 
use a full edder on him. So that way he doesn't run out of MP. You don't want it to get too loud. Uh, save your Mega Elixirs and Elixirs for later in the battle. Robo should be okay. Yeah, there we go. Heal Beam. Yeah, as long as he's got haste, we're fine. One thing that I learned from this battle, uh, you can a haste can actually run out. It has a duration to it. I didn't know that. I thought haste was just a, uh, you know, a permanent status in, uh, boost to you guys. Let's see, can Robo use it? No. Uh, ice. If he can, she, nope, she can't get it out. Oh well. Too bad. Um, no, I'm not worried about heal beam, but... Eh, why not? Fast forward! Confuse, heal beam... No, 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 cure beam. Stay focused, HC Bailey! Keep your focus up. There we go. You gotta stay focused for this battle. If you make one wrong command, you are screwed. Oops, heal me. I'm losing it. It's hard to stay focused and talk at the same time, viewers. Uh, Marley, yeah, cast ice. Or just be confused for the re remainder of the battle. Why not? There we go. Good job. Wow, Connell's getting faster every day. All right. Cure beam itself. Good job. Yeah, my reflexes are getting a little, well, a little better. Uh, yeah, wait for it. There you go. Heal beam everyone. I hope Lavos decides to attack Marley after inflicting chaos on her eventually. That'd be nice. I'd like to be able to show you what I can do when that happens. There you go. Good job. Ready to go. Alright, we got a nice spell in there. Yeah, every little bit helps, you know. I mean, every few ice spells saves kind of another confuse. Okay, Robo's MP is a little low there, so we, next time I want Marley to, um, oh, what is it? Use a full either on him. There we go. Cure Beam Robo. There we go. And yeah, you want to keep Chrono on the offensive, because this battle takes long enough as it is. Ah, uh, no. Marley's not gonna get a turn now. Darn it. Oh, wait. Yeah, she'll get a turn. I hope. Robo is getting a little low on MP there. I'm a little worried about you, man. There we go. Gotcha. Okay, we're in good shape now. Next thing I'm worried about is Robo's haste wearing off. I think we'll be fine, but, you know, keep an eye on it. Will you remind me, viewers, when haste wears off of Robo? Remember, this is Chrono Trigger. You can remind me in the future, and it will help me in the past. Oh, come on. Chrono should have gotten an attack in there. This is taking a little longer than I thought it would, because Marley isn't getting attacked. Well, I might as well tell you, if Marley gets attacked by Lavos after being inflicted with chaos, then um, she and Robo can use Cure Touch, a dual attack that restores everyone to their maximum HP, which will free up a turn for Robo to use an Uzi Punch, let's say. That can be pretty useful. Okay, haste wore off, but I'm too late. Oh well, maybe next time. We'll be okay. I hope. Running out of time here. You know, Chrono's probably not going to survive now, huh? Oh, um, yeah, I have to use an elixir. I have no choice. He won't survive, otherwise Robo wouldn't get a turn. Good call! Heal beam. 
Maybe Marley can get haste back up on Robo there. Oh man, we all lost haste. Okay, well it's time to go all out. Yeah! We got him! Alright! We defeated Lavos in the new game in the regular new game. What about the inside of Lavos? Will we be able to defeat that part too? Will that part be even more powerful than it was in a regular New Game Plus? No, actually the inside is exactly the same, but it's still going to be a much harder battle. So that's all for this bonus episode of Let's Play Chrono Trigger. Next time I will rearrange my equipment for fighting L the Lavos Corps. This is H.C. Bailey signing off. Have a good day.